Hi, I'm David Jones. I'm a ISA certified distinguished uh, architect, uh, 30 years of experience in the industry. I'm also working for ISA Global as the product owner for the ISA core course, and I'm also a key instructor. So what is the ISA architect core course? Well, it takes the uh, students through the, a clear pathway for engagement uh, and provides a baseline uh, for them to be successful as business technology architects. It goes through the engagement model, uh, their behaviours, the skills, the tools that they, they will use. It's actually about the architect and not just about the architecture. And fundamentally, it's not a foundation course, um, it's actually core to architects. What are the benefits of the ISA Architect Core course? Well, to be a successful business technology architect, you need to really have an underpinning of three main conceptual areas. Firstly, business concepts. You need to understand the business that you're in and that you're trying to engage and solve. Secondly, is you need to understand the technology strategy, technology design, and also the delivery sites. And thirdly, most often overlooked, is you need to understand your stakeholders and being able to communicate with them very effectively to be successful. Uh, this course is designed that you'd be learning by doing. You'd be going through an interconnected set of exercises over the period of five days in an intensive workshop using a, a contrived example. And you will be presented and challenged by all of your peers in the classroom setting um, and you'll conduct the exercises in teams. So a highly collaborative experience. Um, you'll be very tired when you get to the end of the week. You'll come away with um, having some key tools and technologies that you'll be able to apply from day one in your organization. Ultimately though, what you'll be learning not only from the exercises, but you'll be learning from the insights of others in the class, their experiences. But a secret source of this course is also the experience you get from the instructor, who is a certified C2P or C2D architect. That is the requirement for ISA for teaching this course, an experienced certified architect. You get that wealth of experience. Ultimately, the course tries to set you up for success in your career, but also to make you a great architect, or at least give you the path to achieve that. What are the challenges that architects face today and into the future? Today, the, the two main themes I'm seeing is the ongoing technology trends, uh, such as Gen AI um, and how you deal with that and the big uh, momentum push towards uh, cloud adoption. The other area that uh, we see as a challenge is, is transformation in organizations and, and ensuring that the architecture practice supports that transformation and is part and integrated into that transformation. Part of the course, we do cover both of those areas in terms of trying to uh, skill up the architect that they're able to handle and navigate and support the business in their behavior, skills and tools to achieve those changes. So who is the target audience for the course? Well, firstly, it is obviously for architects and they could be architects that are new into the role or they could be seasoned architects wanting to hone their skill. I've always find that architects, no matter what level of experience, they always come away with having learned a lot on the course that they can apply back into their organization. Secondly, you could have IT professionals from other areas, whether they be um, analysts, uh, project managers, developers, even IT leaders um, that um, want to either transition into architecture or actually just need to understand as part of their organization what architects are supposed to be doing. Okay. The third area is for IT leaders themselves um, or even business leaders that want to understand more about the architecture practice and possibly make improvements in their organization.